All right, this is the final part. I have 22 minutes left on my phone. He was all shocked with my budget, obviously. I tell him how much money I'm putting towards all the sections. And Peter's all shocked. Yeah. Peter's all shocked, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Peter will help me co-write the script every morning. Then 12 o'clock is lunchtime for one hour. And then from 1 to 5, I do the concert arts with him. And my wife to get them all Toro and 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 and, 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 and two showers twice a week. Two showers will help me twice a week, right? And George Lucas will have him help us out too sometimes, and, and Fran you can have her help us out too sometimes too. Honestly. I know how to help us out. Fran I'll have her help 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 us out, uh Fran I'll have her help us out a couple times too a week. And we're we're we're, we're gonna talk about the characters, the animal characters, all the animal characters in the story, what we want it to look like. I want them demons obviously. Three times scarier than Pennywise is on that picture I showed you. A month ago, I'll show John Holland in those pictures of what they know. And the world building and the customs, like the weapons and the clothing, all that stuff. So John Holland and Alan Lee know they're going to be hard at work drawing hundreds of pictures. The clothing, the we what the okay, what what weapons do the wolves have, the bats have, the, the Zanians have? So Sarah, what clothing do do, 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 do do what 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 kind of clothes do you want them to wear? I have to draw all that. What do you want the animal characters are like airtight pieces for fool? The crows, the eagles, the stags, the wild stags, the snakes. You know what I'm saying? The wild ravens. You got to draw all those pictures, man. The wall of Zanus, the castle, the courtyard. You got to draw all these pictures. River of Tiny, you got to draw all those pictures. A lot of work. We discuss what pictures we like, pictures we don't like, obviously. Discuss what pictures we like, what pictures we don't like. I'm sorry. Yeah. We discuss what pictures we like, what pictures we don't like. Obviously. Then at 5 o'clock, everyone... So while I'm doing the concerts up here in the other nice building, I'm saying... Uh, um, Grandma... Uh, sorry. Um, um, Very awesome will be helping out, and Fran will be helping out my 17 with calls. My 5 with the calls. And Fran will, will help him out like 3 times a week. Twice a week, you can have her in the, in the other building with us helping Peter on us with the concerts. If Peter needs help, I can hire one, two assistants to help him with the concerts. Peter, no, I really need more help with it. This, this is more than enough people. Yeah, keep it simple. You know my comedy's bigger in Hollywood. Like in Hollywood, they have like twenty people in a room for concerts. Where my concerts, you're only gonna have like ten people in a room. It's more than enough people. You don't need more people. You have Vijay helping me. You have Peter. You have Gamal Tor. You have George Lucas. And you have Fran. And you have my two servers. That's enough people. And you have my three concerts. That's enough. You don't need more people. I'm saying. We discuss what pictures you would like, obviously, and don't like. Sarah. I'm tempted to get beer and smokes after this, man. Uh, but if I get beer and smokes for the next like four days, I'm gonna end up waiting like 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 those ten days for my like eleven days for my check. Obviously, I don't know, man. I might get beer and smokes again, maybe one more time. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Obviously. And at 5 o'clock, everyone's done work. My 17 are done work. Okay, you guys are done work. Take my business card. Put it in the safe. I don't want you bringing my business card with you home. I don't want you spending my money. Make sure. I'm going to be strict, guys. Make sure 
once you're done with the business cards, put it in a safe. In the, I'm going to have this safe in my office. I'll have the safe be in... Uh, and you can have it be in the Scripture Rover's office or my me and Media's office. Okay, take the, the business cards, put it in a safe. Never bring it with you home. If you bring, if I find out you brought it with you home, you better have a good explanation for why you brought it with you home. Otherwise, I can fire us. If you can, Ivan, I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay, I'm I'm letting you I'm letting you off with a strike. Never bring my business card, me and Media's business card, home. It's it's my fucking money. It's me and Media's money. Never bring it home. I'm paying your millions. I'm paying a lot of money. You can pay your bills. I don't want you ever bringing my, my business card home. The only one who can bring it home is me because I, it's, it's my money, obviously. My business card, I'll only bring with me only when I do takeouts. So once I do the takeouts, like me and BJ can easily pay with our personal account for the takeouts, but like because the takeouts are cheap, it's only like a hundred thousand bucks in cost. Seven eighty going towards the movie, you, you pay with the business. We should be like, yeah, I, let's pay with the business. Yeah, I don't feel like taking out one hundred grand of my money. Pay with the business with the business card. So whenever I do the takeouts the first year, when I sign um like wetter workshop, costume designers, people are seeing the extras, the psychologists, the trade nutritionists, and the mass designers, I will me and Vita will bring our card with we'll, we'll bring our, our one business card with us. And that that'll be used to pay uh, that'll be used to pay for uh, the takeouts. The takeouts are gonna cost you like I don't know, like twelve hundred bucks a night, man. Something pricey. You're looking at like the first year, I'm all, I'm only I'm gonna be doing a good maybe I don't know, fifteen takeouts maybe. Fifteen, twelve, fifteen takeouts I'll be doing first year. Sixteen, seventeen takeouts. Second year I'm gonna be doing what? <laughs> Tens of dozens of takeouts, obviously. A lot of takeouts the second year. Hey guys, you're done work. Okay, you guys are done work. Put. Tell, I'm going to tell all my team, make sure you bring all what? Bring all what? Bring all, uh, bring all, uh, bring all what? All your business cards and put it in the safe. I'm going to have a safe in my office. For what, that's where the business cards are going to be, are going to, are going to be stored. Sarah, that's what it because of this. Your team's gonna need your business cards to make your, your team's gonna need is gonna need your business cards to make what to, to pay for all the stuff for the hotel for, for everything, obviously. For the hotel for everything, I'm Sarah. I'll have them have a good five business cards. And your secondaries are gonna need to pay for the, the hotel. Costs, so when they call the hotel and they book it, they have to pay. They, they need they need my information on my card and everything, guys. I'm trusting you with my life, with my card. Never ever bring it with you home and never use it for your personal self. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you pay them shitty a shitty salary, they can abuse your. They, they, they can they can do dirty shit. And they might spend some of your money. They can do that. People, we live in a wicked world, obviously. But because I'm paying them a lot of money and, and they're making the millions and I'm spoiling them and, I, and they're safe, they're not going to do that. So they know if I found out, I'd fire their ass, obviously. Guys, I'm trusting you with my life. Me and Vijay are trusting you with our life, with, with our cards. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you put it in the safe. I'm going to buy a safe, and that's where all the business cards will be stored. Me and Vijay will put our business cards in the safe, our business card in the safe too. Obviously. And you guys will get the code to the safe. Guys, I'm giving you my, I'm giving you what? Yeah. Obviously. So five o'clock, everyone's on work. You know what I'm saying? And it's everyone's tired. The team's all tired, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? They're all tired. They drive home, they go home. You look at an amazing documentary, man. The doc is filming this and they go home. The, so the, the 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 limo service company will pick Peter, um, the console artist, George Lucas, his wife, Barry Osborne, and get Molotor up. At the uh, at the at the, at the, the property, so every every time after five, a limo limo service awaits Peter and all them. They're getting spoiled, and it takes them to their hotel, to their suite, their luxury hotel suite, the luxury hotel suite, obviously, the luxury hotel suites. They're gonna be staying in a suite, obviously, and then my team have to get into their car and they drive home, obviously, and I'll drive home with VJ. And all I ask Peter is that when you go to your hotel room, 
before you get the rest of the day off, I want you taking your notes. Get your notebook. Have your Molotov help you out. You can even have Fran help you. George Lucas, you can help. I mean, George, if you want to help him, you can help him if you want. You don't have to help him if you don't want to. But George can help him out too. Sometimes, obviously. George will be chilling. He'll barely be doing work. Have, have, have your... At least have Fran and Gary Molotov help you, Peter. That way you have help. You go over the two pages that we wrote down this day. Two and a half, three pages we wrote down this day. And you take dedicated a good hour, 45, 50 minutes of your time. And it'll take him a good 45, 50 minutes to an hour to take his notes. Won't take him that long. Really think about what you're taking up for the scenes. That's why you got to show Peter those clips as the movies. That way you help Peter out. Show him clips from Young Messiah, Prince of Egypt, Passion Christ. That way you help Peter out with his notes. He has some ideas. You got to all tour out with some notes, obviously. With some ideas for the movie. And then Peter takes his notes. Obviously. You know, you're going to see how hard he's working. Because I paid him $10 million. He doesn't make $10 million for pre-production. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, I pay him his fat $10 million, which is like $13 million his own money. He made like, he got like $7 million in his bank after taxes and then his rates and his agent. Peter will work hard. <laughs> He'll work really hard. Obviously. All Peter has to do. Now, once you're done taking your notes, you're free for the rest of the night. Of the evening and the night, obviously. You, take, you can go swimming downstairs, which you mostly you can just chill in a jacuzzi. Chances are the suite they'll be staying in will have jacuzzis. And if not, you have jacuzzis downstairs in the pool room. All luxury hotels have luxury have have, have jacuzzis. You can chill in your jacuzzi. You can go swimming downstairs. You can go have a drink at the bar downstairs, which they most likely will a lot of times. Have a drink at the bar in the hotel. Or if you want to go to a bar in downtown, you can go to a bar downtown Vancouver. Or you can drink in the hotel bar downstairs. Which they will probably a lot of times. Then around 7.30, I'll have a limo driver take you to your dinner. Take you to the restaurant for your dinner. You can, you can eat there until like 8.30, 8.45. You need to give them at least an hour to eat. An hour to eat is more than enough time. An hour to eat and you're done. Limo driver takes you back home. If you want to see a movie on theaters, your limo driver can take you to theaters. Chances are Peter will see a few movies on theaters in Vancouver. With Get a Mole Tour and all them. But sometimes when he goes to the bar, he'll be like, it's on me, guys. I'll pay for you guys. Because he's rich. The guy's a billionaire. And I paid him a 10 mil bonus. He got like 7 million in his bank. <laughs> yeah. By the way, guys, if you want to go to the theaters, if you want to go to the theaters or have a beer at the bar, you're, you're paying with your money. I paid you guys all nice bonuses. Fran, you're sharing the account with Peter. And I paid you a nice bonus. Grandma Tori, I paid you a 600k bonus. And you're rich, obviously. Easy Pay for your own drinks. I'm not paying for you. You see? I'm not paying for your drinks. <laughs> yeah. And then Peter and then Peter's done for the day, obviously. And you get weekends off. And Peter will help me make the calls for the main things. Hotel party, red carpet events, IMS cameras, cover the cameras, costumes, armors, clothing, weapons, machines for the mask. CGI, visual effects technology, software for, for special effects. Everything to do with special... All the stuff for all the departments for visual effects. Peter will help me to call for that. The food and the kitchen equipment. Peter will help me to call for all that. Obviously. Please, my exact producer. He is, you know what Peter's all shocked. Ivan, like, you're going to serve the actors and the crew in this kind of food? I'm like, yeah. He's like, holy shit, Ivan, your coffee pulls out of the water. You know what I'm saying? He's like, like for us, like for Lord of the Rings, we had shitty food. I'm like, yeah, man. He's all happy, yeah. And second year, so Peter will help me sign those four groups of people I mentioned earlier. First year, we'll take them out, sign them. And then second year, he'll help me sign the stars. I'm going to fly in the 12 major characters first. So. Avon Joje, Digimon Su, John Boyega, Idris Alba, Angelia Bassett, Andy Circus, Danielle Manette, Ariana Grande, Don Cheadle, John Rice Davis, Carl Urban, and the actor for Heritage. Those are the actors I'm going to fly in first. They all signed their massive cards. I'm like, Peter, I'm not going to take their money. Oh, Ivan, 
this is the biggest contract ever for entire cast. I'm like, yeah, all your actors are making them in this contract. I mean, yeah. You have the movie contract, you also have the game. I even what about the doc? Are you going to pay the actors for the doc? I'm like, no, I'm not paying the actors for the doc. I'm not going to pay you for, for, for the doc. The documentary, you do it for free. I'm not paying you for the doc. In Hollywood, the actors don't get paid for behind the scenes. No, they, they, I'm not paying you for the doc. I pay you for the, the movie and the, and the game. And the doc crew will be following. Okay, guys, a doc crew will be following you guys around during the four years. Is that fine? You have to make sure it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to have in the contract, a doc crew will be following you around. Is that fine? I Do you have... Do, 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 I... <laughs> I agree to let the doc crew film me and they sign it in the contract. That way, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't want the doc crew filming, you just let me know and I won't have you part of the documentary. If you don't want them filming you, Samsara. If you don't want them filming you, obviously. Look at that amazing documentary, yeah. And once I signed the stars, I showed them the horrific devil mask. Devil pictures of uh that the, for the concerts are all spooked. Peter's like, guys, you guys are gonna be legendary looking at demons, walking demons and devils. I was all excited, yeah. And afterwards, I take him out to my nice dinner at Boston Pizza. Pick one meal, but I don't want you picking, uh, getting like two meals. No man, pick one meal that you want. That's enough. So for Zayas, I'll do the, my takeouts at Boston Pizza. For The Great Escape or The Matrix 4, I'll do that at another restaurant. So if I do The Matrix 4 or The Great Escape, don't have any calories. If I do The Matrix 4, I will take Michael E. Jordan, Brie Larson, Ben Affleck, and all them to a different restaurant. I'll be doing my takeouts at a different restaurant for The Matrix 4 or The Great Escape. Whatever, whatever movie I do, obviously. I don't know. We'll see what happens, obviously. Zero. The Matrix 4, if I end up doing the Matrix 4, I'll be very excited for that. I'll be almost excited for that as I am Zanus, man. Just as excited, pretty much. It's a fucking Matrix, I'm saying. The Great Escape, I'll be very excited for, too, but not as much as the Matrix 4. Because the Matrix 4 is a fucking... The Matrix is the Matrix, man, I'm saying. Be the one kicking ass. And that's telling that story. That's going to be amazing. You're going to see how excited Michael E. Jordan is. He's, he's hyped. Yeah, Ivan got me out of Hollywood. I'm saved for, like, 10 years of my life. Yeah, yeah I'm out of Hollywood. Yeah, man. Because my company is the only company outside of Hollywood where I actually where the actors can actually make their millions. Hot Sky Source is the only company that can actually compete with Hollywood in terms of salaries. No other company even comes close to Hollywood. They all pay them shitty, shitty money. Some center. Yeah. In other words, once I sign John Mayga, Vaughn, and Jojo, and they sign that contract, they're all going to be shocked. Holy shit! Like I signed a mass. I'm going to walk away with millions. Yeah. Avon told you to walk away with like 6 million, 5.8 million is back after taxes. Fucking rich contract. John Baego will walk away with probably about five. Because you have the pound rates, right? I just all will walk away with around like 9 million bucks in his bank. 10 million is back after taxes. Carl Urban will walk away with 7 million plus in his bank. They're all walking away with massive. Danielle Manette will walk away with like four. So I'm saying around there, 4.5, 4.3. Yeah, they're all walking with massive. Ariana Grande will walk away with like 12, 13 million back after taxes. She signed a massive deal, yeah. Money that is actors making Hollywood, yeah. And all the Hollywood actors are all shocked. Holy shit, I have this company blows out of the water. All those actors are making their rich, consistent millions, yeah. They'll be blown away by Peter's contract. Like, once all the directors see the documentary, they see Peter's contract, they're all going to be blown away. Holy shit. Peter, you, you signed a $500 million deal. Yeah, I did. I signed a massive deal for Ivan's movie, man. Yeah, I had a blast, man. Ivan's coming blows up. Did you, Peter, did you have a better, more better experience working on Lord of the Rings or Zanus? Are you fucking kidding me? I had a much better experience working on Zanus. I had an unlimited budget. I got my freedom. Whereas Hollywood was a dirty fucking slave. And New Line gave me a shitty fucking, like, nine million budget. You know what I'm saying? They only paid me like 10 million base and gave me $250 million in royalties. And I even gave me double that. Yeah, I, I had a much better experience working for Ivan Zoe. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And Ivan Zayn's story is, is better than Lord of the Rings. I, I, was, I, had, I, I was much more invested. I had much more fun doing the concert arts for his movie than I did Lord of the Rings. Because Lord of the Rings is a drag to, to, to understand and adapt. Yeah, it was Ivan's story is much easier to adapt. And my world is more exciting than Lord of the Rings. 
It's a much more fun and exciting world than Lord of the Rings. That's a better story than Lord of the Rings. Trust me, when you see the documentary, you will see how happy Peter is. You're going to see how happy Peter is when you see the documentary. How happy he is, man. He's fucking happy. Peter is happy when he sees the... Uh, when you see when you see Peter Jackson, he's fucking happy. You see how much more happy he is. Yeah. Now once you take the Star Wars Mine Zoom, Pete, me, Peter, with a mole tour of my seventeen, we take the Star Wars Mine Zoom, they party up my condo for like five hours. Hey guys, I'm gonna tell my team, okay, the day before the act the, the actors are flying in tomorrow, take my business card, take my Jeep, go to the SAQ in Vancouver, get 50, 55, 60 bottles of liquor. 55 bottles of liquor for the party. Buy plastic cups. I'd rather have the actors drink plastic cups and drink hard uh, than drink glass. I don't want my glass breaking and all. I can easily have them drink glass from my condo, but it can break. I don't want my stuff breaking. Hence, why I just get plastic cups. Buy a bunch of so uh, uh, two liter soft drinks, like a uh, Seven Up, Sprite, Coke, all that stuff. Orange juice for for for, for what? Coke for the uh, for, 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 for the for the for the party. Obviously. And I want you to find a, the best company in in, 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 in in Vancouver and buy Cubans. Find a company here in Vancouver and buy Cuban cigars. All my actors are going to have Cuban cigars for the party. Well, you give the actors a good experience. I'm like, cheers. And when the party happens, they all have a good time. Keep it clean. No dirty shit in the rooms. No drugs. Just alcohol and Cuban cigars. Let's keep it clean. Blast music. Have a good time with the stars. And we give a cheers. Are you ready to go on this journey with me, guys? We're ready, Ivan. Peter, are you ready? Gonna multiple you ready. We're ready, Ivan. We give a cheers. The success, guys. The success. We give a cheers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even for the great escape in the Ortho Matrix 4, I'm gonna buy cigars for Mike B. Jordan and Keanu Reason all them. And Ben Affleck. They all have a cigar for that for that party too. Look at that's what my comment will blow out of the water, yeah, man. Give them a good experience, obviously. Anyways, this video, I'm tired. It's Ivan Mary, I'm signing up. Peace.